I think we're all we're all set and ready to rock and roll, ladies and gentlemen. It's Uncle Tom. Give me a hell yeah! What's up, dude? Oh, we can't hear you. Oh no! Nothing yet. We'll give you a second to figure it out. Had to turn down. Oh, there we go. There we go. Hey. What's up, man? How are you doing today? I had the wrong volume up, brother. No worries. How's uh, how's the day going? Going good. Going good. How y'all doing? Doing better now and fantastic. Uh, we appreciate you joining, dude. For those for those that may not know you, can you uh, properly introduce yourself? Let me know whereabouts in the world you are at the moment and plug and promote anything you'd like. Uh, well, I am with Inner Circle Throne. I just actually just recently got a full set of band members. We are now two of us are in Mississippi and two of us are in Alabama. You can find all social links with Encircled Throne. There is nothing else to it, thankfully. <laughs> Hell yeah! So you you were a, a like a solo project for a while, and you just recently found band members, or, or how? What's the whole story about the band? Uh, correct. Everything that's been released was all me doing the recordings and playing everything. I just recently, about two, three weeks ago, found a drummer and then happened to find two more guitarists kind of quickly. Was the goal to to always like fill a band to be able to play shows or was it for a while to, to remain solo? Uh, I definitely wanted to have the band to play shows. I didn't really care for the solo thing. I was just doing it because I couldn't have anybody at the moment. I got you, that makes sense. You gotta at least, you're, you're you're feeling creative and you still gotta make music so the music still got made and now it's easier to, to play the shows because you got a couple of a couple of band members but i imagine the distance is 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 tough how did you a find them and then b do you guys do like like zoom or skype like sessions as far as like discussing what the songs are about and, and how to play them or how does how does the practices work we're actually working that out now we haven't had an official practice yet <laughs> it's coming probably gonna end up with probably gonna end up recording everything and sending it to them and I found one app called like jazz kazam or something that says we're supposed to be able to get together through it and then maybe do like one live practice a month jazz kazam i've never heard of that before i have to look into what that is but uh jb is actually my co-host today you probably seen him in chat a bunch of times or or co-hosting in the past jb what is your question for circle throne hey brother um it's a p pleasure being able to actually talk to you, you know, face to face, kind of. Um, we've been talking kind of off the behind the scenes, kind of, you know, trying to get him uh, promoted and everything for a local band, Smoke Out. And so it's it's awesome to actually, you know, put a face to the, to the, I guess the message, if you will. So, thank you yeah, for being man. here, brother. Yeah. And, um, my question Glad for you here, is, is: this your your first music project, or have you been a part of anything else other than in uh, this, this band. This is definitely not the first. I've been part of a couple projects. Um, started one, my first one, that probably lasted for about five or six years back when I was like 15. I'm 35 now. <laughs> Had a couple more in between there. But this one, I've been probably on a seven to ten year hiatus from music, unfortunately. Back in it now, baby. Hell yeah! Oh yeah! Uh, how many how many different instruments can you play? Anything I can get my hands on. I went to school for music, so I kind of was forced to play everything, including like all the, like the woodwinds and all that kind of stuff. Really? Tell you. So you could bust out a yeah. sax and 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 all kinds of like a flute, clarinet, all that stuff. I could bust it out and make a note on it. I don't know if I could play it very well. <laughs> so, uh, more than I could do, I suppose. Hell yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and jam a song, and then we'll we'll get back to the questions. Is it okay if I play A Place to Belong? Yeah, good, good. Hell yeah. If you guys are feeling it, please throw them a sub on YouTube or go on Spotify, search and circle Throne. I mean, I've, I hear a lot of music. I've heard not good recordings all the time. I would say that's one of the better, like, this, this is a DIY recording, correct? 
Correct, correct. Yeah, I'd say that's one of the better DIY recordings I've heard in, in a while. It's that's fairly like I can hear every little detail, uh, for sure. Dude, what is what is some goals that, that you have for the band throughout twenty twenty three? Well, the biggest ones get together with this practice and start hopefully playing some gigs. That's for sure. And then once we all get together, start writing and hopefully put out the full album. Do you have like a timetable in mind that you think could be around when it maybe fall time? For the album, probably late winter. I want to really focus on it hard. Is that is that going to be like all demoed out through yourself and then brought to a different producer, or, or is that something that you think that uh, you guys will just handle and then just grow from there? I plan on doing it all myself, and if I don't like it when I get done with it, then I'm going to send it off. Hell yeah! There. Did you did you bring hot sauce, sir? And maybe see what hot sauce you brought. Taco Bell hot sauce. Yeah. I mean, it counts. It counts. Taco <laughs> Bell hot sauce. Hell yeah. Uh, first, before we do the trivia, I need to know what movie or TV show you've seen the most. Oh. Dragon Ball Z. Okay. Give me a second, JB, to look up some Dragon Ball Z and jump in for me. Yeah. All right. Right on. Right on. So my question is uh, for you. You said you found a drummer and two guitarists. Are you going to be playing bass or are you? Are you guys going to have a tracking, do you think, uh, when it comes to live performance, or is that not thought out yet? I'm hopefully to find a bassist very soon. Oh. I don't plan on playing playing and singing. It's a little too complicated for me. <laughs> Understandable, yeah. No, I, I get that. I think, I think we might be able to stump him on this trivia. I'm not sure. I don't really know a lot about Dragon Ball Z, but I'm sure as hell going to try. In Dragon Ball Z, within the Dragon Ball Z universe, in fact, there's a couple different universes. Who is the god of the seventh universe? The god of destruction in the seventh universe? It ha actually has two words as a name. He, it says, I'm probably not going to get this. It says he is the god of the seventh universe. And I'll give you a hint. He is the enemy in Battle of the Gods. Well, then you're talking about Lord Beerus then. That is correct! Give me a hell yeah! Let's go! Well done. Damn it! Yeah. <laughs> I have to do the Mount Fuji magma hot sauce. Whiskey syringe? And it's laying on a whiskey syringe, so I gotta fill up uh, if tequila's okay, I'll do a tequila one. I don't have the whiskey next to me. So I'll do uh, a, a, a... So I'm just going to fill a plastic syringe, don't worry, with tequila and just and just shoot it <laughs> and continue the interview. Don't get any crazy ideas, but... Uh... <laughs> you have to clarify. <laughs> I mean, you never know. You never know who's watching these days and what they're thinking. They're like, they're like what the f*** is going on here? But, uh... Imagine how... Oh, that burned so bad. <laughs> Dude, if there, if there was a uh, a particular artist that you needed to have on the album let's say they wanted a thousand dollars and you just happen to have a thousand dollars for like a feature who would you like to feature on the album that's a tough one to answer i'm gonna go with impending dooms vocal stuff why him in particular is that is like a big influence to you personally just his growls for sure I'll take it. Just the growls, he says. Hell yeah. I'm working on the syringe. Let's see. Uh, how about how about another question? But this this is the album comes out, and uh, a bunch of labels want to jump on it. And one label in particular just wants to give you thirty million dollars to sign with them. What are some random toys that you're buying for yourself? Random toys. Tequila syringe. Like stuff like stuff for the band or just for myself. Just for you, brother. Mm. Trampoline to go in the pool. Ooh. Did you get a cut? Dude, with, with that much that. money, you could get like the craziest custom trampoline ever. Do they make custom trampolines? I'm sure they, they, have they do. You can I'm get like your whole. So. You can get like a part of your backyard. I've seen this in somebody's backyard before. In Norco. 
they had uh like there was like a flat ground and then that was the trampoline like built into the ground and you could jump from that into the pool like you'd be running on that's the grass the same thing. That's, that's that? dope that's where i got the idea from yeah was that right there hell yeah <laughs> now we're talking i like that is there since you've been in and out of bands a couple of times you said you've probably seen a, a thing or two in your day is there is there something that you see uh, band wise that that bands are making a mistake in your area and you're like dude you, maybe you don't say hey you, this is not the way to do it or or whatever or maybe someone has given you a piece of advice that you took to heart over the years unfortunately the scene kind of around here's a little dead but back in the day the biggest thing i saw especially with promoting bands was complaining about where they were in the lineup like just be glad to play, man. Especially with some of the guys you're playing with, I'd be. I, I would not care if I had to play at noon to play with somebody on the same lineup that I loved. I would play at noon just to be happy with it. I like that. That's that's a humbling answer right there. I dig that for sure. I agree with that. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, let's see, JB. Go ahead and shoot another one off. I'm gonna see if I can stump this man. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna try. Ask, have you have you traveled anywhere um, out of your state? In general, yes. I'm actually a truck driver. I've been to all 48 states. Okay. Then that will make this question easier for you. So say – So again, everywhere except you... for Alaska and Hawaii? Correct. Interesting. And I've Amazing. been to Alaska personally, so the one I haven't been to is Hawaii. You know what? And first off, thank you for doing that because that's a hard-ass job. Second off – um, with that being said, you've seen a lot of uh, different states. So if you had the money to go and tour in a certain state, what state would you pick? Oh, I get cold. So probably Ooh. like the Midwest or something up in the mountains, just cause I like the, the uh, scenery around there. Minnesota. He says Minnesota. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Go Vikings. All right. This is my attempt up. number two to stump you, and I've dug fairly deep into the Dragon Ball universe to pull this one out. So here we go. In Dragon Ball Z, there is a movie called Lord Slug. Who sleeps through the entire ordeal? I don't know this. I'm not familiar with that movie. I've watched it one time and don't remember. Oh, that means we got him. Gotcha, bitch. Mm. Got him. Enjoy that Taco Bell hot sauce. And uh, we'll jam a little bit more of A Place to Belong right now. Are you, uh, do you have any like odd, fun, cool hobbies? Stuff outside of music? I like to play cornhole. They have one set up at work. <laughs> Hell yeah. Like custom graphics on it and everything? No, nah, it's just a plain board. <laughs> okay, for sure. but you're getting good at it. Getting better, getting better with practice, yeah. Do you do the flick of the wrist spin like frisbee? I Because when I do it, I, I throw it like a frisbee so it like spins this way instead of like throwing it. Kind of under. So, you, so you like under flick it so it spins this way? Yeah. Mm, maybe I'm, I'm flicking doing it, like it wrong. The, the, the weight doesn't go from your your hand right. So if I flick it underneath, the weight actually leaves your hand. Cornhole tricks of the trade right there, JB. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh let's see. Let's do uh, a couple more questions and then uh we'll let we'll let uh let him go on his way. But um let's see. Do you have a favorite munchy snack? Something that uh when it's party time, whatever that may be in your book, what is your go to munchy snack? Chips always burritos, but like my favorite snacks are these mini moon pies. They're like the perfect amount. <laughs> like the big ones, I can't really eat the whole. The thing. ones that are like they're the, like they're almost ones. like a oatmeal raisin cookie, but with no raisins, with the cream filling in between. Yeah, 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 mm. yeah. Yeah, those are delicious. What's the best bag of chips though in the market? really been digging the uh, like the chili spicy ones that Doritos has right now. They're like the purple bag. I can't remember the name name of it right now. The sweet, sweet. Like chili, chili, sweet chili. Yeah, yeah, sweet chili. Those are pretty damn good. Good call, man. Those are some good munchy snacks right there. Um, and Circle Throne gets to open up 
for for anybody on a tour direct headlining support but it can't be impending doom who would you pick i mean slipknot wouldn't be bad welcome to 30 20 30,000 every <laughs> single night on the tour but that's awesome you'll sell a lot of merch <laughs> be sweet uh and one of my favorite recently at the festival wage war put on a hell of a show heck yeah wage war is pretty damn cool they got some they got some blahs in their music too I like i like a good blah every now and uh, then okay. <laughs> i'm gonna write one and put one in just for you <laughs> i haven't done that yet yes please please do i'll shoot i'll shoot a tiktok for it just because there's a blah in there love me good blood jb uh what would be final question my final question would be if if you had one one last thing to tell everyone here in chat, everyone to the world right now, uh, just some kind of like inspirational thing, what would you say to us uh, as like a musical group? Uh, you want philosophy? <laughs> yes, sir. Um, Make us smarter right now. I mean, the best philosophy I've done is to try not to care. I know you, everybody wants to care, but not like – it's hard to explain it like that. You know, like the less Fs you give about it and just actually focus on doing your thing and not really care necessarily about what everybody else has to think about it and just do what you want to do. I mean, in all honesty, you're the only one that matters. With So be yourself. Let me throw you froze for a second. Oh, we lost you at the end right there. But it sounds like you're basically saying, like, be yourself. Do 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 things the way that you are going to do them. Not don't care what other people think about. Uh, yeah, their opinions are going to be here or there, no matter what. So, hundred percent, exactly. Hell yeah, very humble words, especially in this cancel culture. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. is there is there other members that you're seeking to finalize the lineup? Need a bassist. Definitely need a bass player. Okay, so that's what we should focus on then uh, to be able to help help the band out is is seeing if we know anybody around your area or Alabama, so at least they could jam together over there and then through the through jazz. Would you say it was jazz? What? We lost him again, but it, he said it was called jazz something. Jazz Kazam? Is that what he said? It was something like that. It was like something like that. We to we lost him. He's frozen. Oh, yeah. There he is. Would you say it was called Jazz what? B bad weather, man. Bad weather and internet is not fun. Jazz Kazam. Uh, Jam Kazam. Jam Kazam. Jam Kazam. Yeah. Jam -kazam. Okay. So I'll, I'll tell Lizzie and the rest of the team that we need to help uh, try and find you guys a basis, and we'll do our best to do that. But, dude... Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Uh, a place of belongs, badass. We we hope you guys are able to get together soon and and jam in person together to get the vibes and the grooves going. So the shows come, album gets worked on, sure. album hits that end of winter time. It's it slaps and it falls in our laps, and we can promote it and do whatever we can to help you, dude. We we appreciate your time though. I appreciate it. Appreciate it, guys. And I love being here. Thank you so much. I Thank love everything you guys do. I appreciate you. Thank you for Thank for you the guys. kind words and thank you for. Uh, for getting stumped on uh, one of the questions, because <laughs> I take pride in those. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Uncle Throat! Give me a hell yeah! Hell yeah! Let's go! Have a great day, sir. We appreciate it. Thank you, fellas.